What's up guys, Livin' Law Liz here with another tutorial. Today we are going to be installing the PCX2 emulator. In other words, that's the PS2 emulator. You install this on your PC and you can play PS2 games by a disc or if you own the game but the disc doesn't work, you can download the ISO from a muparadise.com. I'll show you at the end of the video and so let's get this tutorial started so first off you'll need to go to this website the link will be in the description this is the PCSX2 let's go over here and I just want to show you a quick thing that shows you how to use it here's the system requirements make sure your computer matches the minimum if not the recommended or better the better is better of course now you'll click on this tab and download what you will need we will need Windows and you want to go to the one that's hot over there you see the, the red tab that means a lot of people are downloading it and hit download and let's save it to the desktop so we can find it easily let's hit save and it goes pretty quick like that it's already done now we'll minimize this and here it is on the screen now we're going to right click it and run as an administrator and you'll hit yes okay and now if you have that stuff you can uncheck it if you're un unsure of whether or not you have it you can just hit next that's what I do I just go ahead and install it with everything so now you can choose where you want to put it I usually just leave it at the default area so we'll click that and it's installing and this is a pretty quick process too almost done and it is completed so now we can drag this little icon over here and if you double click it the first time it'll bring this up and you can just hit OK and I don't mess with any of that but now we need to insert the BIOS so we'll click on BIOS and I cannot distribute a copy of the PS2 BIOS that would be illegal but there are places you can find it I can't say do that but regardless we need to insert insert the PS2 BIOS which we are doing now so I need to find out I put the fault PS2 BIOS folder on my desktop you see we went to this PC documents PCSX2 BIOS and then we dropped it in and now you want to hit refresh list and it's not gonna be there because I just want to show you guys a simple mistake it is not actually in there and so we need to open up the folders again so let's go down to here and open up the the file explorer go to documents and find the PCSX2 and open up the BIOS we need to take those three files and take them out of the folder and put them by themselves in the BIOS folder so we can just paste it here and now we are done with that and we need to go refresh the list and then you want to click on it once you find your BIOS and hit apply okay now we can hit OK and the BIOS is done so it will run but we need to configure a memory card first off so that we can use that now normally I just ignore those and I create one let's name this let's make it a 16 you can read the description and decide what you want to do and let's just call it mem card 1 and hit create and now we'll need to drag it from down here up into the first or second slot and hit apply and OK now our memory card is configured you can make more if you need to now we are going to boot it from a CD so you want to go to your CVD area and click on plugins right and now if you hit boot CVD full it will boot whatever disk drive you dropped into your computer's disk drive it will read that and as you can see it is booting up perfectly and if we open up the DS4 Windows controller we can plug in our PS4 controller and play the PS2 games with the PS4 controller. As you are about to see, the game has booted up. My controller is plugged in. If we double click on this screen, it'll make it full screen. 
and as you can see PCSX2 emulator is installed and working perfectly now if you happen to turn your uh, if you happen to turn your PS2 game into an ISO so that you don't have to carry the disc around everywhere how you would do that is you would go to your CVD go to ISO selector browse and to wherever you put the ISO for example I have NFL Street 3 here I'll double click that and now when we go to boot CVD full it will be up and running perfectly as you can now see and also if for some reason the game does not seem to be rendering good try pressing F9 and that usually fixes the problem so hopefully you guys enjoyed this emulator PS2 emulator tutorial if you have any questions ask them down below like and subscribe I hope you guys enjoyed living lawless is out